Remember, what are congruent parts of parallel lines? Remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we have um, these parallel lines, what our congruent parts is going to tell us is that these two sides are also equal. That's your congruent parts of your parallel lines. We know that we already talked about the ratios, right? Are equal, but the ratios wouldn't really help you because you'd have this over this equals that over that, where you don't know the value of x and the value of y, right? However, the congruent parts tells you that when you have two sides that are equal in measurement here, the opposite sides are also going to be equal based on congruent parts of parallel lines. So now I can pretty much set up two equations, 2y minus 1 equals 3y minus 5. And I can set up an equation, x plus 3 equals 3 halves x plus 2. And now we just go ahead and solve. So therefore, 4 equals y. All right. And then over here, this one looks like it's uh, um, much less fun, right? Because it has this fraction. But, but just remember, guys, you can rewrite this as 1 over 1. All right. Now, since this has a denominator, now we know that 1 is here, right? But now we're talking about a fraction. So what I would probably do is write this as 1 over 1. But notice the fraction has a denominator of 2. So that I would actually change that to 2 divided by 2. Is 2 divided by 2x the exact same thing as x? It's the same thing, yeah, because 2 divided by 2 is just 1 anyways. But I'm going to leave it in this, I rewrite it in this format, so therefore I can subtract it on the other side. So when I subtract 2 divided by 2x, huh? Did you that well, if you're going to say 5 minus 1 half, can you subtract a whole number from a fraction? No, you've got to convert your fraction, or your whole number, to a fraction, right? So you've got to write it. So right now, you've got to write it with the denominator of 2. So what you do is you multiply 2 over 2, which is 10 over 2 minus 1 half. Now you can subtract them, right? Is 10 divided by 2 the same thing as 5? Yes, but it's written as a fraction with the same denominator that you can subtract from 1 half. And that's what I was saying here. 2 over 2x is the exact same thing as x. But I wrote it. I, in that form, multiply by 2 over 2 so I could subtract it from the 3 halves. Then I have 3 equals, this is 1 half x plus 2. Now you get the x by itself, so I subtract 2. And I get 1 equals 1 half x. Then I multiply by 2 on both sides. And I get 2 equals x. Okay, so if from last...